guess what? Apparently I'm monetized again on YouTube. I've hit their quotas and they've finally approved it. So you should see some ads before or during or after this video. Uh, I'm not allowed to actually tell you to click on an ad because that's against Google policy. So whatever you do, don't click on the ads. Today I'm going to tell you all about my experience with the Next Dome. Uh, as you know, I have been using a Skyshed pod and I recently did the upgrade. So what have I got to tell you about this particular pod design? I look like an angel. Okay, that's probably better. So after Star Stuff, I had this opportunity to buy a Next Dome roof. I have been in the Skyshed pod, which is a Canadian design by Wayne Parker and his company. You might know from Glass Tiger. So much for me to and I can't the song still gets stuck in my head. But he does great work with his astronomy company and all that he's brought to the amateur astronomy community. That said, the main issue that I had with the Sky Shed pod was the zenith issue. The fact that when I was pointing straight up, it would cut off half of the view. So your actual viewing angle was high in the sky but not directly up in the sky. And for me, in a very tight urban situation, everything straight up is vitally important. That's my clearest view. And it's also the view where you'll get the sharpest photos because you are shooting through the least amount of atmosphere. So the next dome design is really this traditional design. It's the traditional opening that you see in most classic observatory sort of designs. But I've been using the next dome for a while now, so I've got a few things I can actually share with you guys about the experience for both the Skyshed pod and the next dome. I should say that this video is not sponsored. I bought and paid for both the Skyshed pod and the next dome. So, so I'm going to be frank. The material that the next dome uses is this really hard plastic, which is actually quite sharp. As it comes from the factory, I'm told that they do deburr it so that you can't cut yourself on this. But every edge is sharp like a knife and you can definitely cut yourself on this stuff. Um, it doesn't feel as strong as the Skyshed pod. I think it's HDPE plastic they use for the Skyshed pod. That's what the Skyshed pod sounds like. That's what the next dome sounds like. It's a very different kind of plastic and the manufacturing process of the Skyshed pod means that there's a hollow cavity inside. But the Skyshed pod also is a little bit more translucent. This blocks out pretty much all the light. There's no sun coming through this. And any light that you see in here is actually being reflected through from the Skyshed pod. Because the Skyshed pod is really translucent and it lets a lot of light in. And because it lets a lot of light in, it lets a lot of heat in as well. I've found that with the next dome, it has really reduced the temperature in here. It might have even shaved a good 10 degrees off. And I haven't had to use the air conditioner yet even though we're not into the heat of summer, I'm really optimistic that I won't have to use the air conditioning like I did uh, last summer, because that, that added at least an additional $1,000 to my electricity bill last year. Something else I can say about the traditional opening is that it gives you this beautiful wind block. So even though it's windy outside, I could theoretically image in this sort of weather, and I have before and it takes a lot of that wobble out of the telescope. You will still get drafts in here, and of course some airflow will occur. But overall, especially if you're shooting through one way and the wind's coming from another way, it's a wonderful wind block. And that is a real advantage of that traditional observatory aperture. Of course, the roof rotates, just like the sky ship on the roof rotates. Uh, that's pretty much the same. This can be motorized as well, which I think was harder to do with the Skyshed pod. And the Next Dome brand have released a whole bunch of accessories that you can use with this particular design uh, that can make this whole thing motorized from the opening to the rotation, that sort of thing. It's worth checking out the Sidereal Trading website to see all the different types of accessories available. I was really lucky. The guys from Sidereal Training actually came over to my house um, after the Star Stuff event because they had one that I could buy there and they helped me set it up. Now they didn't actually know 
if this was going to fit. The dimensions of the Sky Shed pod, it's the same dimensions as the roof itself. So you can actually put a next dome roof onto a Sky Shed pod and they work. And it was really good to actually see this work in practice. And even though this setup is a hybrid of two different designs, they both work together. And I have to say, they work together really well. So with the next dome roof, you actually grab the lever from the inside and push up to open. And then it sort of gets stuck there until you get up onto your chair and just give it another push and push it all the way across. Now I've found that sometimes I have to get on a chair for that last little bit to push it through all the way. I'm also told that you should put a little bit of grease in here which will help the slide. Uh, you might have noticed mine was a bit sticky and I haven't actually gone down to Bunnings and got the grease I need to do that yet. And that's all the way open. And you can now see how straight up I've got a lot of sky to work with. Now moving the aperture around was not really something I had to do with the sky shed pod. It has half of that clamshell wide open all the time. Um, so your telescope was more exposed to the elements in general, uh, but you also didn't have to move it for a long time. Generally I come out about once an hour and move it. But again, that can be motorised. One weird thing about the next dome is it has these gutters around the whole thing, which actually collect a lot of water. And then when I go to open the dome, a little bit of water splashes in. That said, it's a whole lot more waterproof than the sky shed pod ever was. And we've been in torrential rain, and this has held it all outside rather well. But because of the way it collects water, you do get a lot of debris and stuff collecting in the gutters. Now, if you're not motorized like me, to close this opening, you can actually just push it from the back up. And you can see that closes it almost all the way, and you can do the other little bit by hand pretty easily. This HDPE material that the Sky Shed pod is made out of, uh, even though it lets in a fair bit of light and heat, I have to say it is rigid. This thing says no step. No step my ass. You can jump on this thing. You probably wouldn't jump on that though. Having a personal observatory is a real luxury and being able to build the Sky Shed pod in the first place really opened up a whole different workflow for me and allowed me to concentrate more on my astrophotography and less on setting up all the time. It really makes a difference. But I have to say changing to the next dome roof has made just as much of an impact on my imaging. Now I can image straight up at the zenith. It's waterproof in a way that it never was before and I really have a lot of love for this product. The fact that the next dome fits so well on a sky shed pod is not something that they advertise and I think that might be for legal reasons. So if you have a sky shed pod you might want to consider upgrading to the next dome roof. It'll save you a lot of money because you don't have to buy the entire next dome observatory. It just works. That's about it really. I don't really have much else to say. If you have any questions about either the sky shed pod or the next dome leave them in the comments below and if you're interested in getting a next dome at least in Australia sidereal trading are great guys Diego and Paul will look after you just as they've looked after me and remember everything is meaningless and we're all going to die <laughs> so the observatory dome you know how we've got a new one mm -hmm. do you like the old one or the new one better the new one why because of the shiny roof so aesthetics aesthetics basically. okay thanks Anna mm -hmm.